Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the Sanjin 909X2, and we have the Seacrane Twin Coil Antenna System. Today I'm perform a daytime medium wave band scan with the assistance of the Twin Coil directly connected to the radio that bypasses the internal antenna. This radio, as you know, I have a spurious tones across the medium wave band, and this eliminates all of them. So it makes for a fun experience. I did the same thing with my 909X. So during this video, I'll do features, little size comparison, and we'll start cruising the daytime band. So this engine 909X2, it gets for about $225, give or take on Amazon right now. Uh, it represents a decent bargain if you're into medium wave, short wave broadcasts, uh, FM for sure, and aircraft. Uh, it does a great job on all those if you don't have the spurious tone problem like I do. If you're in a single sideband listening, you're not really in for a treat. You hit single sideband and the volume goes deaf uh, and you really crank all the way up. And sometimes you hear them, sometimes you don't. If it's a, a faint ham, you're not even going to hear them unless you have headphones on. And still even then, it's a struggle. So if you need single sideband, you might want to look for a different radio. But everything else, it does fantastic. It has some great features. So let's start talking about them. Uh, on the left-hand side, I have this hooked up. Let me just unplug this. It's my jack there. You can look on the side here. We have the uh, AM external antenna jack for medium wave, short wave, and long wave. We have the auxiliary in uh, for MP3 devices. Uh, you can hit on to bypass the radio and turn on the auxiliary in port. Here we have standby and line out features for recorded uh, features of the radio. So if you have like the DAR, a 101 from Sanjin. These work together. When the timer goes off on the radio, it'll signal the recorder to start recording. That's pretty awesome. Headphone jack, DC input there. We have an attenuator knob. So this is for our RF gain for medium wave, uh, a long wave and short wave. It goes from minimum to maximum. We'll leave it on max. Be the best. Now this works with the external antennas too, by the way. Love that. Going to the front of the radio, we have a 3-inch speaker with an upgraded uh, audio. Sounds fantastic versus the older 909X. Uh, they did improve that speaker. I like it. Especially in music on FM, it sounds fantastic. So I set this back down. Uh, the screen here is a large LCD, larger than the 909X that it replaces. Uh, the frequency displayed is very large, uh, very easy to read. I do enjoy that. As you can see, it says home and our local time with the radio off. Uh, it will display a 10 bar graph for signal strength right here. Page number, what well, page you're on for memory presets will in the blue box here. This long rectangular box shows data, uh, RDS information, signal strength information if you need to. You can click the info button to get that to show. Uh, typically, I don't use that in medium wave and long wave, but when you're on FM, it's handy. Then down below here in the screen bar, uh, your preset numbers will show up and you get a total of nine per page and nine presets can be added to that bottom bar for each page, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, let's look at some buttons here. On the left hand side, you can see it says airband and P scan on there. That means page scan. It's pretty much like a nine channel uh, scanner when you have the airband going. That's kind of nice. FM with ATS system, auto tuning storage, a long wave, medium wave button, ATS and shortwave with ATS and the meter band. Here we have a direct entry keypad for entering frequencies directly, which is nice and handy. As you can see, it has the meter bands there and also alphanumeric uh, characters. You normally don't need those. You can use the jog wheel to enter in a naming for your presets. That's really cool. You can name uh, presets for medium wave, long wave, FM. On shortwave, it's a little different. You have to name just the pages. That's how they do it. Uh, we have a cancel key there. Okay, it's important. You can actually delete your presets that you don't want. And here we have a decimal key. You have to use this when you're entering uh, aircraft and FM band, uh, frequencies and manually. Uh, and you use the frequency button to do that. M is a memory key. Uh, this lets you uh, manually enter frequency uh, presets. And of course, enter confirmation. And when the radio is off, it shows my version, version 073. Here we have our bandwidth key with a really cool feature, the M 
and it says a key there that's a preset lock which is really nice you can lock your presets just in case you hit the ats by accident it does not wipe out your existing presets three timers like i mentioned single sideband button which is pretty much a no-go on this radio unfortunately um, in my review i'll talk about that and if you haven't seen the review you can check that out uh, page function again different pages uh, this radio supports uh, 1674 presets divided into three memory banks which you select by the menu here uh, in each of those banks you have 45 error 36 fm 27 medium wave 9 long wave and 441 short wave i'd like to see less short wave and more medium wave but that's just me and maybe more uh, fm would be nice and airband because airband in my area i get more than 41 or 45, excuse me, I probably have like 60 or 65 uh, frequencies that have uh, active communications because I have small airports and large airports by me, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's interesting information. So info, um, again, shows your RDS information on the bar there. You can scroll through here. Uh, right now, it's going to show my memory bank I'm on. Uh, but and then down here, it says menu. So we press and hold. It shows the different uh, settings you can do. Let's go really quick. Soft mute, that's... Uh, um, soft scan delay that's for error soft mutes for fm uh, factory reset time uh, time format backlight setting i think it's 10 20 30 seconds uh, fm stereo okay so you get the idea turn that off light key you can turn the light on different brightnesses and turn it off power button sleep function charge indicator light if this has nickel metal hydride batteries in it it will uh, charge those which is nice uh, with the ac adapter which it comes with here we have our squelch control, which works really well, well on the airband. I'm very happy with that. Uh, tuning buttons. Uh, these are quick tune. You can quick uh, browse up and down the band. Uh, seek tune. And, of course, press and hold, and it'll just go really quickly through. We have a jog wheel here for fine tuning. I usually use this for fine tuning. You can set the stepping to coarse tuning as well. That's what that step button's for. And you can also lock out the wheel as well if you don't want to use the jog wheel. Uh, the jog wheel is much improved. It feels nice and smooth. Still with a ratchety feel, but not too... No, it's, it's easy to turn versus my X, my regular older model. It's a little harder to move. And then we're almost through here showing features. There's quite a bit on this radio. Uh, on the right-hand side, you can see we got some switches there. We have a lock switch, tone control. Normal seems to be the best for most use. Music on FM for sure, uh, using the speaker. Here we have the bandwidth uh, manual and auto. Auto bandwidth is something new and interesting. Works really well on shortwave, really good on air and FM. Uh, pretty surprised. When it comes to medium wave, manual is the way to go. Volume knob here, analog. Mine's a little stiff and it's a little hard to hang on to because it's uh, they made it real narrow, surprisingly, because they usually make them nice and uh, large. Uh, antenna on top is for FM airband. Shortwave, it's 46 inches, which is amazing, and stainless steel, brushed. You get time set, daylight saving time key there, and world home button. On the back of the radio, we're almost through here with the features, getting there. Kick out stand with the world time. We have the full range of frequencies there, the full range receiver, four AA batteries. When you open this up, there's a switch in there for changing from alkaline to nickel metal hydride, and there's a switch in there from 9 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. And we'll go over bandwidth and different functions on the bandwidth there in a moment. So let's go ahead and plug this in just to get this ready to go. Do this on camera here. Okay. So I'm trying to keep this on camera with the twin coil so you can see me tuning this uh, as we go. And I might have to go a little quicker or skip over some stations, but uh, quick size comparison, uh, CC pocket, a uh, local time, as you can see, is 11.02. That's central standard time. It's AM uh, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois. Perfect time to start a daytime band scan. Here we go. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves C-Crane twin coils paired with Sanjin radios, man. He's Iron Man. So that's a deck of cards. Standard playing cards. Nice. And I think I forgot one radio, the CC Skywave. We'll just sit there. There you go. Get an idea for size. Nice tabletop radio. Great for external antenna use. So let's go ahead and turn the radio on. And we're on shortwave, beautiful. So we're going to change to long or medium wave. You can name them, which is cool. 740 Zoomer Radio, I get that in the evening. So let's go ahead and we'll go all the way to the bottom of the band. As you can see here, um, home time, battery life indicator, bandwidth, 
So bandwidth, we have choices. We have, uh, let's see, the top, six kilohertz, four, three, which is I usually run, two and a half, and 1.8. So we'll go to three. I'm gonna turn my external antenna on. Now I have the twin coil antenna here away from the camera, so I have no interference. This is a 200 millimeter ferrite bar, coil round mount, and it's attached to this box with that cable. I'm three feet away from the radio and from my camera, so I have no interference. I'll be turning that device uh, to the direction of the stations to tune it. So let's go ahead and start scrolling through. Our first station is going to be 540. Now 540 is uh, out of Jackson, Wisconsin. That's north. And right now my antenna is pointing the wrong way. It's pointing to the east. So I'm going to turn it to the north. It should improve. And now we'll tune the box. There you go, got the call letters. I'm going to keep going because it's time constraints. In our MorrisonSecurity.com traffic center, a service of the Salem Podcast Network. Inbound Eden's exit ramp reopened at 2E. Now 16 minutes, Lake Cook into the junction. Kennedy inbound. 560 WIND, Chicago. Circle interchange. Eisenhower at 27 minutes. I like the smooth tune. Well, supposedly anti-CRT legislation passed last year in several... So here's 580 WILL. Let me make sure I'm on maximum here. So max is all the way down. Yep. This is 150 miles to the south. To what's being taught in Illinois schools by requiring teachers to do things like post their lesson plans online. That's just one of many rallying cries on the right to exert more control over, or make transparent, what's happening in the classroom. Here's former Education Secretary Betsy DeVos. Well, I'm very, very nice. Sorry. Twin coil makes a big difference. It's like a super radio. <laughs> Turns into a super radio, even though they say it's an ultimate radio. Yeah. I'll show you an example of the spurious tones in a moment that I have with my radio. So 590s WKZO, uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan, about 140 miles to the east, actually. Let's go ahead and move my antenna. There we go. Bandwidth, you can also do auto. We are not going to support American energy production. We are not going to support the American consumer. And we're going to engage in pie in the... Auto might work really well during the day because it's more of a stable signal. But in the evening, the signal jumps around pretty fast. So that thing's changing quite a bit. And it's kind of hard on the ears. For me, anyway. So let's go down to three. There we go. Hey, what are we going to do on this day or whatever? So, um, this... I'm going to sound like an auctioneer today. I'm going to take you through 2023. Mm -hmm. If something sounds of interest, there are two tours. I actually have the brochure, and I'm already selling it. Right. The rest of it, I'll have the brochure hopefully six weeks. So it's more of interest. So those other ones are WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles to the west. I'll put you on the list. Nice. The brochure is done. You get the first book. I don't have to turn the radio. I can just turn the antenna. Or they got their phone out, and they're typing this in. How do they get in touch with you? Let's now, live from the Annex Wealth Management Studio, WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Good morning, America, for that matter. Everybody's tuning in. We got breaking news all over the place. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron frickin' Rodgers. Four years, apparently. So you see, I course tune to get it close, and I use fine tuning to get that uh, signal strength the best I can. Of course, you can hit info, and it'll show us signal strength and uh, signal signal noise ratio. So we could leave that up. Oh, it'll just wipe. Okay, that's probably why I don't use that too often. I just like the sidebar. Oh, it came back. Sweet. Okay, here's 640. This is uh, a music. Uh, Hispanic music on WMFN, Pietone, Illinois. Uh, this has the spurious tones on it during the day. Uh, 
you get to hear that in a moment. I'm going to disconnect my system here and you can hear it. Okay, I can't hover, but it's coming in nice. Let's see if we can't tune it. Coming in nice. So we're going to go ahead and just disconnect the antenna. Actually, I'm disconnect it from the box here. And now, actually, that was wrong. I should have done it from the radio. <laughs> okay. And now we'll hear that spurious tone. So as you can hear, it has that tone to it that it's very annoying. Uh, during the evening, it's really bad. Um, yeah. So we're going to have to speed this session up. But the, just wanted to show that to you that it does have that problem with mine. Radio's, this radio is not supposed to have that problem. And a lot of people who bought this radio don't have that problem. But there are a few that do. I did some research, and there's a gentleman in Europe who has the exact same problem as I do with the exact same firmware. So, okay, we got our box hooked up, our antenna hooked up. Now it should be good. You saw that jump up. Beautiful. Now, just so you know, this radio does perform better than the X that it replaces without the external antenna. The internal antenna is pretty good. If I didn't have spurious tones, I'd be super happy. But since I have spurious tones and my number two key acts up on me, this will probably go back and I'll probably or order it again, probably within six months or a year, depending on how I feel about it, uh, and see if they've improved the design of the radio, especially a single sideband. That really bothers me um, using it and trying to get hams with this radio. give up a pick for $20 million of Jimmy Garoppolo when you know that that's probably a bridge answer. I think you have to be in a really... So here's 670 to score to BCR, Chicago. That sort of move over giving... Let's go faster. Fasting. Makes a little chirp I mean, who we kidding here? It's REMs everybody hurts. Huh. And that works. Yeah. That works. It is sad. 1992. Why, you got one in mind? That's no, even not sad? really. I was When you first mentioned it minutes ago, I thought... It was. I was like yesterday. That's the one by the Beatles. Yeah, by the Beatles. Seven twenty WGN Chicago. Agree with. Um, I'll actually I show that. Love you because that we are named it. And you have the memory preset lock right there. Singing partner Porter Wagner. And number one. And they broke nice. up as an act. And they will. They will talk to me and go, "Oh, you're you're Maxine's daughter. Well, I should have known it. You're so friendly." Or they'd say. Seven fifty WNDZ Portage, Indiana. I love Maxine and Fred and. I had a woman tell me talking to you is like talking to Maxine, mm. and it just melts. A lower my tone when it's on music. My mom was full of service. Um, she taught me service to others. There we go. Um, Normal. She was Lutheran and embraced the Catholic faith I think it's with open news. arms, and was just a such a loving, sweet soul. And I like the brighter sound of the uh, normal. And, um, she just taught. She. Illinois' 12.7 million residents have been fully vaccinated. Of those, nearly half have received a booster shot. Lisa Fielding, News Radio, 105.9 WBBM. The Ogilvy Trans. So there you go, WBBM Chicago News Radio, old time radio in the evenings between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. Monday through Fridays. If you can tune it in, Central Standard Time, rock on. Forcing all inbound and outbound. These little arrows uh, designate the fine tuning or coarse tuning. Safe and authorities say there's no longer a danger. For the wheel. So I can fast tune with the wheel if I want. Now. They could be drilling right now, yesterday, last week, last year. WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois. To drill onshore that are already. This is a faint station, WNOV. This is out of uh, Wisconsin, uh, Milwaukee. Uh, low power, I think 220 watts. So turn my antenna and tune it. There you go. I can't hover on the music, but awesome. It's coming in. Here's 870. So 870 is WKR East Lansing, Michigan. 
cut to watch more BS from Joe Biden or listen to more BS from Joe Biden. Check this out. So here's uh, WLS Chicago. 80% of onshore oil production takes place on land that isn't owned by the federal government. And of the remaining 10% that occurs on federal waiting for the Aaron Rodgers domino to fall. Hey, wait, before... Here's uh, the Big Badger, WOKY, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Tune in. If you had to go through another couple of areas in the draft, they, they, maybe uh, I know that they're going to be good on pass rush this year. Touchy on the course. This year, there's some good wide receivers this year. Is there, there another area that you're going to really be concentrating on if you're the Packers? Yeah, I, I think you're going to get a wide receiver there in the go. top. I'm, and my thought is the top and you can three tune in nice. the draft. I, I think you're going to get a defense between we're all praying together. And then... 930 to uh, WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois, Relevant Radio. The father. And uh, so I don't think there's any sense in Catholicism that Christ meant to... <laughs> Some good music on WFAW Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Yeah, liking that. Pray uh, at. I'm gonna go at, quicker here. WNTD Chicago. Was. Um, opposed to those who are normal. WHA um, Madison, Wisconsin. Hmm. Well, Don, thank you so much uh, for calling. Uh, Dr. Steffi, a comment? Or at Rosen Crown in Cayman City, Illinois. And hit the final. And when you say one of us, let's see. Uh, I mean, I was of legal gambling age. Here's WMVP Chicago. Squares, I don't think. One of us collect. Z panią profesorze, jak to jest, że jeśli mówi się o aborcji, nikt kto jest normalny. WNVR Vernon Hills, Illinois. Ale to nie znaczy, że trzeba. Rather than three ninety nine. And that T-bone steak is like I don't know. Are we doing shopping radio on WLIP? Sounds like it. Kenosha, Wisconsin. Ah, oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, here we got uh, Benton Harbor, Michigan, 100 miles away. WHFB. Let's see if we can tune it in. get interference there. Okay. WTSO. This is out of uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Tough today. Ten eighty is WNWI, Oakland, Illinois. Sedientos en aquellos corazones que se encuentran deprimidos. Adoremos al Señor. Glorifiquemos su presencia maravillosa en esta mañana. Here we are, eleven ten WXCS, Chicago. Nuestro Rey. It's an outright disaster where we are right now. WISN, Milwaukee. Getting any better when it comes to what gas is going to be costing the average American? How could it get better? Let's think about this. What are they doing that's going to make it better? The march, we have a matching challenge. You double the impact. WYLL, Chicago, Illinois. Hope for your life, Christian Radio. We'll be right back. Project operates with the same goal. Wounded Warrior Project was created to help our men and women returning home with the scars of war, whether those scars are physical or mental. Wounded Warrior Project. We never leave a fallen warrior behind. WSQR. Sycamore, Illinois, the squirrel, usually music playing. Susan, it's so great to find. Y le empiezan a cambiar el apellido a Russell Westbrick. Brick, the ladrillo. WRTO, Chicago. No le acertas a la canasta. Incluso en tres semanas, estaba programado un evento de deporte adaptado. WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. Okay, this is uh, usually Janesville, Wisconsin. Not picking anything up there. Aiming my antenna. WSBC, Chicago. Hey, Rob 
back easy lane. You know? And he creates like a good quality creation receiver or something that's back in the deck and doing that type of stuff. Okay, I buy in. But if y'all gonna still go with the same graphic and development twelve fifty WSSP Milwaukee. Oh, country music, WEKZ, Monroe, Wisconsin, 60 miles away. Uh, Gary, Indiana, of Christian Radio. I'll do a pop up. WBIG Aurora, going quicker. You know, three, four hundred thousand. Fonz Radio WZTI, Greenfield, Wisconsin. Nice. Thirteen hundred is WRDZ, Lagrange, Illinois. Bardzo ciekawą rzecz, którą bardzo chciałam państwu polecić, bo jest to taki powrót do. Smarter wireless. From the front lines of truth, Clay Travis and Buck Sexton. There you go, WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, I know it's one bet in fifteen hundred bucks. You're out for a year. They're sending a message. We knew it would happen. We know it's bad. We warned you. WNTA, Rockford. Got music there on thirteen sixty WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. With 50 50 Friday from mostly90s.com. The 6,500 square foot flex steel gallery showroom at Monroe. The music station here, uh, WBEL, South Beloit, Illinois. Furniture in the region. Choose from thousands Going pretty good with this little box. <laughs> WGRB, Chicago. Got some music on WRJN, Racine, Wisconsin. I know that she also worked too for a bit. Once uh, I think a little bit after the depression hit, she worked at Gromers, or at least at a grocery store. She later worked at Gromers when my mom was little. But I think uh, shopping on the radio again, fourteen ten W R M N, Elgin, Illinois. Working as well. And W E E F, Deerfield, Illinois. <laughs> A DraftKings at Casino Queen Sportsbook. WROK, Rockford, Illinois. Sports betting right here in Illinois. A hint of WJTI, West Ellis, Wisconsin. Okay, we got Iron Country. This is, uh, let's see, we're WGEZ, Belay, Wisconsin. Some hard rock on WPJX, Zion, Illinois. WRDD, Waukesha, Wisconsin, coming in. Nice. God has a purpose for you. He has a dream he wants you to fulfill. But in order for that to happen, it must be resting on his... WLUV, WLUV Loves Park, Illinois. I gotta go a little quicker. Uh, WGLB, Port Washington, Wisconsin. WTTN, Watertown, Wisconsin. And ran for, for Prime Minister for President as Pedro Gao. WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. 
from Lake Cook Road to Wadsworth Road is 18 minutes. Southbound on 94 from Wadsworth Road to Lake Cook Road is 18 minutes. The following road work was currently active. 928 Street, east of U.S. Highway... Traffic Advisory Radio on 1620. Construction. Yeah, during this hour. That's a great place to turn and look more in-depth. Uh, kind of dive into this model prayer that Jesus gives us. Um, that's one place. Any other resources that you might recommend for somebody if they want to look at the Our Father and have... Here's WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin, Relevant Radio. Um, something that can help them. I don't know if this means that they have indeed put the franchise tag... The Zone, WOZN, Madison, Wisconsin. I have not seen that. Oh no, the, uh, the the Packers are franchise. And our last station here, we should be able to pick up unless it's off the air. I think it is. I'm not picking up 1690. Okay, so there it is. We're done with our band scan of the Sanjin 909X2 with the C Crane twin, twin coil ferrite antenna system. I like it. The antenna system's around 120, I want to say. It's really neat. You know, you get the you get the box, you get the uh, antenna, you can AC adapter, or it runs on a 9-volt battery, so you can go portable with it. You can also have a 75-foot run to the antenna, so you can put that antenna outside um, in a permanent location if you have a certain direction where you just only need to go one direction. That's kind of neat uh, if that's what you need. Um, you get away from any kind of RFI inside the house. That's a big bonus. So I do enjoy the radio. It's just that uh, if I had didn't have the spurious tones, because I'm not going to be using this setup, I want to use the radio by itself, because its internal antenna is pretty good. It's just I have a lot of tones, and if you see my other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But overall, uh, a decent radio. Uh, if you want to pick one up, there'll be links below there. Help out the channel. You guys are great. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Two, if you like Sanjay Radio, subscribe, hit the bell icon. And three, comment below what you think about the 909X2 with external antennas. Let me know. Okay, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.